Hackslash vs. Chaos, issue number two from Dynamite Comics. So I reviewed issue number one on Friday. So here's issue number two. Um, I'm going to skip a couple of pages. And as soon as I saw this, <laughs> I don't want to say my heart dropped because that's too, uh, that's too extreme. But I just kind of let out a sigh. I was like, ugh. Because that artwork, I, I know this artwork. This is resurrection. I was like, no, why? Why are we going back to this? Why are we going back to this art style? Like, I'm not saying issue number one had the greatest artwork ever because it didn't. In fact, it was very flawed, but it was better than this. Like, I just, I don't understand this. <laughs> why, why do we? Who is it? Sealor? Sailor? As soon as I saw the name, I just thought Silo. And I thought uh, Silo uh, South Park, Sarcasta Ball. Where like, he's like singing. And then um, like people in the crowd are like, Ooh, Silo, it's good to see you on TV some more. Like, wow, Sealor, it's good to see you on Hackslash some more. Because I didn't get enough of you with Hackslash Resurrection. And Hackslash versus Vampirella. Now you gotta infect Hackslash versus Chaos. Damn it! <laughs> uh, like, why are we going backwards? Like, here is Hackslash. Original run. Well, not original run, because original run is uh, Digital Devil Publisher. This is the second run, Image Comics. Look at the look at the detail. Okay, I mean it's not it's not like a plus artwork, but look at the details of the faces, especially Vlad's. And now look at the detail of Vlad's face. Like, how do you go from that to that? How do you go from Cassie's bland expression to this? I mean, from this to that. Like, how? Why are we going backwards? Like seriously, what is it? What is it with like? It's not even just comic books, but comic books are like really bad with this. Um, but like cartoons now, like how is it that cartoons, like almost twenty years ago, is better than the stuff coming out now? Like how have we gone backwards in quality? It doesn't make any sense. We should be going. We should be like <laughs> going further. Like video games are getting better with every iteration. How the hell is it that comics and cartoons just keep going backwards? Um, also, like, here's another thing about Cassie. I mean, here we have Cassie, like, literally so depressed that she's about to kill herself by blowing herself up with dynamite. Like, we had, we had characters with flaws and feelings and emotions, which is something we did not get out of Resurrection. Seriously, like out of resurrection, it was just like she laughed everything off. Nothing, nothing was made a big deal of. Um, she was either just looking forward to killing stuff or looking forward to, you know, getting that poutine pie. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna say. That. Well, at least the Cassie here is is a bit better because I mean it is by Seely. And I, I mean, if anyone knows the character, it'd be him. Um, so at least you know, I mean, it is only. Uh, Two issues in, but this artwork is just, come on, man. Like, it's not, I've seen worse, but I've seen better from Hackslash. And I just showed you better from, um, like, 2007, I think. Like, over half a decade ago. But why are we going backwards? Like, I mean, you look at Ben 10, the new Ben 10. You look at Teen Titans Go. You look at the new Scooby-Doo. You look at the new She-Ra. I know those are com uh, those are cartoon examples, but still, why is it that art styles are just going backwards instead of forwards? Unless you're talking manga, manga, you know, as artwork just keeps getting better. And anyone who says, "Oh, you know, manga doesn't have great artwork," um, you are reading the wrong manga, my friend. <laughs> like when manga is getting better than comics in terms of art style. Um, and it's like, it's this, and the thing with manga is that it's only one person. Well, usually the person has assistants who does, who usually do the backgrounds. Um, but it's usually one guy 
drawing the whole entire series. And usually the same person who's drawing is also writing it. And they're usually doing it um, weekly. Sometimes there's monthly. It all, it all kind of depends on the series. But, I mean, so to keep up the quality, like, meanwhile, comics, you got a whole team of people working on one issue a month. And you can't even keep up with uh, one guy doing weekly stuff on his own. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so basically Cassie and Vlad are on their own. Um, Cassie is kind of like wondering why Vlad, uh, isn't all gung-ho about going after the blade. Um, because, uh, Vlad is usually gung-ho about going after villains and stuff like that. And his thing actually makes sense. His thing is basically, uh, the blade, um, wipes out all the undead. Like everything that's, you know, that all the undead get destroyed. And Vlad has died and been brought back. Cassie has died and been brought back. So wouldn't the blade also get rid of them? And um, I like uh, Cassie's uh, reaction to that, where she's like, um, we've been killing these things for years. Like every time when we go out there to fight something, we're putting our lives on the line. Like I'm already ready for death kind of thing. So I kind of like that. That's kind of like a nice little touch um so yeah uh i mean look at look at evil ernie like that's what he looks like now <laughs> uh, i hate this artwork i mean it's better than like stuff i've seen from i guess other issues like other series kind of I mean, it's its own style, but I, I just, I don't like this for Hackslash. And I don't like the fact that you guys tease me with somewhat decent artwork and then you go back to this. Um, but yeah, basically the, the Chaos Brigade uh, wake up. That's what I'm calling them anyways. Um, anyone who gets that reference gets a kooky. Um, wake up and realize that Cassie and Vlad are gone and that the... Um, Buddha lady is gone, and then um, they think that basically they're going to uh, Cassie and Vlad are like traitors, and maybe that they kidnapped the Voodoo girl, or even the Voodoo girl. Uh, basically, Ernie has like a like a vision thing that um, Cassie and Vlad are gonna like wipe out. They're gonna get the blade to wipe out all undead, which includes all of them. So they basically see uh, Cassie as villains. And then we get this, and I'm like, you know what? This is. Like, just the face. Like, this looks like something out of, like, a gorilla's music video. Like, there's some parts where it's like, okay, like, this right here isn't, like, too bad. And I guess this over here isn't that bad. This lady kind of reminds me of uh, the spirit from Dead by Daylight. Um, but there's just, like, other parts where it's just, I don't know. I'm just I'm not a fan of the artwork. Um, it's very weird, because, like, the, the face is... You either get pretty decent faces, or you just get, like, very bland faces, if this will zoom in. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically the voodoo lady uses, they're fighting, uh, purgatory, and, um, this, um, witch lady who controls bugs, and the voodoo woman, like, uses her powers to, uh, to kill all the insects and the spirit, basically. And, um... Yeah, uh, Cassie uses that as a chance to, uh... Bash Purgatory. I know I'm just kind of, like, skipping through this. Um... Let's skip some more pages. But, uh, yeah, Vlad basically uses the blade to slice Purgatory in half. So she's dead. Um... And he gives the blade to Cassie... Because basically his thing is, uh, I, if, you know, if the blade is going to get rid of all undead, including us, I don't want it to be by my hands. I want it to be by your hands. Like, I, uh, basically Vlad doesn't want to kill himself, but he also doesn't want to be the one that destroys Cassie. So he hands the blade up, off to her. And then, uh, the Chaos Brigade show up. And see Purgatory dead. And I'm not going to show the rest. 
But I will say that that's not the end of Purgatory for anyone who's worried. Um, this issue ve- makes it very clear that Purgatory is not defeated for good. Um, but yeah, that's the end of uh, Hack Slash issue number two. Story was fine. Um, I mean, at least we got more action that time. this time. Even though everything seems to be pretty rushed. Like, uh, let's see. I'll, I'll show you. So we see... We see basically Cassie and Vlad inside uh, like some hotel of some kind. And then we immediately cut to them inside a store. Like, here, okay, so we cut to them inside the store. I'm assuming that's uh, Cassie. Even though her hair is weird. Yeah, that's Cassie. Like, the hair like the hair kind of throws me off. Because, like, why is it green? Her hair is, like, yeah, what's with the green? Um, when you see Cassie, and Cassie's like, okay, black lipstick, pure black hair. Then again, this, like, the skirt seems to be different. Like, I can't tell if this is supposed to be Cassie or not. I think it's supposed to be Cassie, but it's just... it The, the continuity is just weird. Because, um, like, see, like, here, it's just bra. It's just a bra with fishnets. Over here, the shirt actually it looks more like a tank top with the fishnet. But here, the fishnet seems to be a little... Uh, yeah, I can't tell. At first, I was pretty sure, okay, this is Cassie, but now I can't really even tell. If this is Cassie, then the continuity is just really garbage from literally one page to the next. Um, I mean, green lipstick, green hair, um, tank top instead of just the bra. Uh, the skirt is a bit longer than the one Cassie's wearing. But, um, again, that just kind of proves my point. Like, it kind of jumps all over the place. So, let's just pretend that this is Cassie. So then we literally go from them in the hotel to them in the store to immediately them in the back room like this. Um, if this is not Cassie and this is just some other god chick, why would you go with this design? Why would you go with the girl who looks similar and is dressed very similar to Cassie but not be Cassie? Like, that's just going to confuse your readers. And then, uh, again, if let's just say that's not Cassie. So then we go from hotel room to immediately Cassie and Vlad in the back surrounded by bugs like it just it, it the pacing is just really off regardless of if this is Cassie or not um I'm gonna I'm, I'm leaning towards no just because Vlad's not here whereas Vlad is immediately here I'm thinking basically this is just uh like right now as we see the scene Cassie and Vlad are actually in the back being attacked by bugs and this is just some other girl um but Again, it just it just begs the question: Why are you gonna draw a girl that looks exactly like Cassie? Why are you gonna do that? I guess this confuses the reader. Um, I blame this on the artist as well. I mean, you literally could have drawn any any other woman. Just draw a normal woman. If she has to be goth, um, give her a different hairstyle. Uh, give her a different um clothing, so it doesn't look exactly like Cassie. But, um, yeah, the, the pacing, um, is weird in this issue, and the art isn't the greatest, and I'm starting to, I mean, I'm still gonna keep picking up the series and stuff like that, but I'm starting to worry. Um, I don't know how many issues are supposed to be in this series, um, but... I'm just, I'm not a fan of the pacing already. I can just, this issue alone, um, even from page to page, it's just like, you're, it's confusing. And, uh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a fan of, um, Sea Lore, Sailor, whatever the hell you want to pronounce that name. I'm just not a fan of that work. But, um, yeah, that's Hack Slash versus Chaos issue number two. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you guys if you guys liked it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, feel free to comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on this. Uh, where are your thoughts on the issue? Your thoughts on the artwork? Your thoughts your thoughts on artwork just going in this like a weird direction in general? Like just everything seems to be downgrading. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time. Later.